We are back at One and Gymnasium here, continuing week one play. We have the Street Sharks and the Ducks. Ducks in purple, Street Sharks in the blue. First shot of the game to Mike, first save to Trevor. We have Jeff, Jim, Joe, and Sarah starting for the Street Sharks. On the other side, you have Mike, Honey, Tracy, and Dave. Your goalies are Trevor for the Street Sharks, Roderick for the Ducks. No score early on. Ball played in the middle, Sarah's able to clear it. Dave swings and misses, has to take it back. Ducks are able to reset. Now Sarah playing in the corner. Trying to bring it up, can't quite get there. Sarah and Honey battling in the corner. It looks like it's gonna be one by the next Tracy playing it up, and Trevor will just fall on it. All right, if this period seems a little short to you, it's because we started the clock, whether or not they were ready. Uh, part of the policy here, trying to make sure we're out of here before the landlords chase us out. Ball goes into the Sharks bench. Joe able to get it. Joe and Mike, of course, former teammates. This one play the other way. Dave able to clear it. In comes Richard for the uh, Ducks. Joe gets it away from Honey, but Dave is able to control in the middle. Shots remain 1-0 in favor of the Ducks. But the goals remain 0-0. That's going to count as a shot by Honey and a save by Trevor. Now 2-0 in shots. Full change here as I keep trying to remember everyone's names. <laughs> we have Cameron, Mateo, Drew, and uh, oh, and Sarah on the shark side. I think that's Sarah anyway. On the other side, uh, Richard, Simon, Sarah again, and Renee. Renee playing it forward, looking for Simon, can't get there. Ball's behind the net. Up the corner. No, it's Alley, excuse me, not Sarah. We have a lot of players everyone in the league, and it looks like we're, no, no, no penalty called. Interesting decision there, but the Suds su was absolutely adamant. Uh, no penalty. Mateo shot, blocked by Richard. Back the other way we go. Sarah unable to control it. And it's back to Cameron. Cameron now looking for a teammate. Drew breaks too soon. This is going to be an offside call against the Sharks. Delayed offside. That shot will not count, and that'll trigger the offside. Kind of a slow start for both teams here. Now Mateo to face off against Richard. As you can see, Mateo, the captain, barking orders to the bench. Uh, Mateo barely able to control it with the help of Alley. We have 11.45 left in the first period. Now still no score. No shots for the Sharks, two for the Ducks. Uh, as always, that's a new stat this season, so I am keeping track of it orally. You're going to have to excuse me for a second. It's going to make commentary a little chippy. We have a penalty coming up here against the Sharks, and it's going to be on Drew. Power play purple. First penalty of the game to Drew for a high stick. Penalty kill. Official time of the penalty, 3 minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Penalty is uh, ticking as uh, the Ducks quickly get into position. Richard now. Not Kevin, Richard. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long one for me. You're going to have to excuse me. Mike with a shot. That one goes wide. No, it's saved. Third shot of the game for the Ducks. That goes into Trevor's mitt. We have about 90 seconds left in the penalty here. This one controlled by Tracy off the face off. Ducks with the power play, first power play of the game. Played behind the net by Joe, but only as far as Mike. Mike has Richard, there's a shot, that's gonna go wide. Cleared up the other way by Jim. And now Tracy trying to get behind the net. Oh, can't quite get there. Mateo doing a good job of tying it up, trying to kill the penalty. Stuck in the corner, Tracy and Mateo fighting for it. Mateo gets there first, he's gonna get his shot on. That one goes wide. That one is saved and knocked wide, so now 3-1 in shots. Up the way, and nobody in particular. Covered first by, it looks like Mateo. And Joe knocks it forward. Jim will do his part. Joe fishes it out from behind the net, uh, behind the bench. Now recovered by Richard. He's going to control this in the corner. Nope, 
Broke, Kevin breaks too soon. Back the other way we go. Purple's good. That is a shot by Kevin. Can't go. But it's wide. That shot by Joe equally wide. And it looks like this penalty will be killed. Out comes Adriana from the box. There's got to be somebody. This one sneaks past me as they are full strength. Ducks 0 of 1 on the power play. I don't think they, they had one shot. Shots remain 3-1 in the period. Cameron now trying to play this one. As it's blocked by, looks like by Simon. Now Adriana and Simon racing forward in the corner. We have 8.49 left here, still no score. Sarah unable to control it. Finally knocked away by, by Jim. Kevin the other way, we've got Jeff coming out of, off the bench now. So I believe it's Jeff, Cameron, and Jim for the guys. Oh, it's almost in! Second shot. That one is not there. Third shot, that's in! After a number of attempts, finally sent in by, I believe that's Jim. It is 1-0 Sharks. Quick switch on the bench, almost catches the Sharks napping. Played forward now. Got so many people out here, I'm losing track of who's who. Uh, I was just introduced to half this team, so you're gonna have to excuse me if I call people by the same name. <laughs> Renee runs this one into the corner. And, uh, yep, they're kind of new here, don't really, uh, aren't as familiar with the rules. So they give them the space, all is good. Mike trying to knock it forward. Shots are three apiece, but it's one nothing to the Sharks. Playing in the middle, there's Joe, going as far as Renee. Joe tries again, he's able to get it around. In the corner, no control. Joe going to try and send it in, saved by Roderick, 4-3. And they'll shoot again, that one is off the bar! Back the other way, Mike is chasing Sarah. Down in the corner, Sarah able to clear it a little. Try and go even further, can't quite get there. Renee is able to keep it in for the Ducks. Sarah the other way, but Mike's get there first. He's going to try and take a chance on Trevor. Can't quite get there. Joe is able to clear it. Renee recovers. Playing it up the middle. Ball is loose. Joe, but only as far as Simon. Simon will shoot. That goes wide. Shots remain 4-3 Sharks. Back the other way we go. It is Simon who will chase this down in the corner. Richard comes on for Mike. Simon looking for Richard on the breakaway. Just a little too strong. Richard to the front. There's a shot by Simon that goes wide. Simon to try again. It gets blocked out of the lane. Ducks will have to reset. About six minutes left in the game now. Uh, first period now. No, yeah, I am not having a better day. Sorry, guys. That shot is saved by Trevor. We're at four four shots. That's the six-minute mark right there. Doing a better job keeping track of players than I am is the captain, Mateo, although, to be fair, this is a team that was form uh, basically formed and came in here. They uh, already knew who everybody was. So to call them an expansion team, kind of a misnomer here, although this is their first season in the league. Get it to Mateo. Money able to block it. Now Alley trying to get it. No, round trace. There's the shot by Drew. Can't quite put it in. Five four shots. Mateo can't make the pass. Tries again. That's blocked as well by Tracy. Now he's just going to shoot it. That goes wide. Play in the middle. Richard is trying to get around Mateo. Back the other way. Oh, Richard stumbles. Shot is wide. No count. Drew with a rebound. That's going to be saved. Richard plays it behind the net to Dave. He's looking up. Can't get it past Mateo to Honey. Second try is more successful, but it's recovered in the corner by Ali. Now back the other way. Drew has it to Mateo. No, can't quite get there. Ali tries. Stopped by Honey. And Trevor will just cover this one. Shots now 6-4 in favor of the Sharks. 
This has uh, not been one of the crisper periods for either team. Certainly a filling out process going on here. Face-off time won by the Ducks. David able to recover it. Gonna pass it sideways. Sarah, oh wait, there's a fight for it. Did we get out, but Dave keeps it from going anywhere. Allie now in the back, barely keeps it in the zone. So Drew's shot counts, that's a save. Good save by Roderick, and the Sharks are able to control in the corner. No, no, that, that was ruled a steal. It should have been the Ducks ball, and so Ducks will get credit for the possession. Covered by the Sharks, that's a shot. That one's going to go wide. Fight in the corner now. Tracy backing her way out, attempting to get it over. Can't quite do so. Now Brian playing it up. Only as far as through, back the other way we go. That ball officially left the zone, so this is an offside position for the Sharks. Slight shot, tipped away. Sharks are still offside, and uh, I don't know if they're even aware they are. Steve finally gets the message, is able to clear. Sarah the other way for the Ducks. Brandon this time breaks too soon. Is anyone onside at this point? It's hard to tell. Finally, this clears. We've got three minutes left in the game uh, period. Ugh. I'm still stuck on the first game, which was a 11-7 uh, win by Pravda over the Scorpions. Sebastian, the player of the game there with four goals, two assists. Now Joe with a shot. That's saved. Shots are 9-4 now. And we're going to have another high stick call here. This one is, I believe, A little confusion here. Finally, they're able to get the appropriate line out. You have to have a female at all times unless she is in the penalty box, which she is not. Uh, so the Ducks are 0 of 1 on the power play this far. Shots 9-4 Sharks, goals 1-0 Sharks. Mike, oh, there's a bit of a tangle in the corner with Sarah, uh, yeah, with Sarah, who is finally able to clear. Goes behind. Now Simon's going to attempt something, blocked by Joe. Tries again, again blocked by Joe. Great penalty kill so far. Sharks playing well together. And in the middle, Mateo going shorthanded, can't do it. Great save by Roderick. And Mateo is going to do some more killing, bringing it all the way around and back. Gets around Simon. He'll try again. Pass in front. Nobody that Joe unable to get the shot on net. Unable to play it, and Renee is able to clear it. Uh, just a reminder, it's technically the Ducks, not the Sharks on the power play, no matter what it looks like. We are under a minute here in the first period. The period and penalty are expected to expire at the same time. Back the other way we go. And the Sharks will slowly bring this one up. This one being mucked around in the middle. It's sort of been the story of the period so far. Now Simon plays it up. He's in touch with Trevor. Knock it over to the corner. Joe. Bring it all the way down to the other end. Tracy. Can't get it out of the zone. Well, this is going to be a, a very weak shot. This one doesn't count as a shot. Shots will remain 10 4 as we have 10 seconds left. Another failed power play for the Ducks. They are 0 for 2. And it is 1 0 after the first period. 